Welcome to another video. Spring is in the air. I'm here in my local woods to celebrate spring. I'm gonna pick some wild garlic and then we're gonna cook up some steak and make the ultimate steak sandwich and incorporate the garlic as best I can. It's a celebration of spring. The daffodils are flowering, the crocuses are out in the village. It's beautiful and it's a sign that winter is in the rear view mirror for now. It's been a long, arduous winter. For me personally, it's been a long winter. When I see the wild garlic just shooting through up here in the north of England, up in Yorkshire, it's just started to shoot through. The flowers aren't on it yet, but the leaves are young and tender. So we're gonna pick some of that, take it back to the house, make a little sutton sutton, and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna cook some steak and have the ultimate, this is my plan is, the ultimate steak sandwich to celebrate spring. Follow me. And here it is. Ramsons. Wild garlic. And I, oh the smell is just spring personified. Now, I don't need a lot. I'm just gonna take a couple of leaves from each plant. Obviously you don't wanna be taking all the leaves from one, one plant, she'll just kill it. And that's it. Oh my goodness gracious me. That is delicious. See what we've got in tin to get fire going. Please, I hope I've got some. We can't see much about. I'll have to go on a little, a little mooch. Please. What have we got? I've got some cotton that I've not yet turned into char cloth. That's kind of pointless. For now, put that on to-do list. Some flint, fire starter. Please have some in here. And nothing. Ah. Okay, fair enough. Fair dues. Nothing in tin. Right, I should have thought of this. Da! Right, I'll have to go see if I can uh, secure me a cramp ball or some silver birch or something like that. Let's go. Right. Found some cramp balls, but they're a bit worse for wear. In fact, they're not good. Sodden. Uh, I'd only need a little bit, right. It'll be a miracle, but try and get some at popping with just this tiny little bit. It's a bit damp, but we'll see. I'd best make myself a, a good nest. So, and a big one at that. So I've got some dead bracken and grasses just in there. I've fluffed it up in the center, so that's where my, if I get a spark onto it, that's where it'll go into there. This elder's pretty bone dry. It was off dead standing. So that'll go straight in and hopefully we'll have a fire. Will we though? Will we though? I ain't holding that much up for this little cramp ball, you know. But I believe in it. Come and have a look. See what we can do. Please take one. Thing is, he's a bit wet. There might be a bit of him that's dry enough to take one. Come on. Nah. 
not happening. Usually it just way up. Oh, oh, oh we might be in. Oh, 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 oh. We're in by right, skin of our teeth. Can we get a fire going? Come on. Because I'm starving. Oh, come on. Oh, there's only a little bit of it going. Go on, get in there. We'll start bringing the lighter. We've got it. There we go. Woof. We have flame. Quick. It's a smoke fest, but we need to get some of these little twigs going. And also get more twigs. More. More. Hey, look, landed in it. Sweet. So she wrote. Nah, it's going, we're going, we're good. Woo. We're good. The fillet fell apart. Cast itself. We've got a fillet steak. We'll put a bit of seasoning on once it's in the pan. They usually I'd have been upset at my fillet falling to bits, but I'm making a sandwich with it, so it doesn't really matter. I want to sear it on the outside and get a nice crust. I like it quite rare if it's a fillet. I'm going to hit that with some Yorkshire butter. Yeah, man. I'm going to let that settle, let the juices relax out of it. You see all that buttery goodness? Butter, steak, garlic, rosemary. Get up there. Get up there. And now, the <laughs> The pièce de résistance, wild garlic salsa verde. Oh man, this is good stuff. That is just soaked in the butter and the steak and the the seasonings. Ugh. I didn't bring a spoon because forgot. Oh, that smells so good, so fresh. A liberal amount of the salsa verde. It's all good stuff. <laughs> I need a camera man. <laughs> I need a camera man. It's rested just fine. I'll pop it back in the pan because we're gonna the rest of the juices in there. So that's like oh, loaded with flavour that top bit. Hopefully nice and rare. Wish I brought a fork, but that's life. Just whittle that down to a spike. And then let's get into this main bit. Come on. Oh, that's perfect for me. Perfect for me. Maybe even a little bit over. I mean, it's not easy to cut with knife, but I just want it into bits, man.
perfectly rouge. Like a hot knife through butter, it's so tender, man. Load up with sani. <laughs> oh my word, yes. On with that monster there. Oh my word, look at that. I mean. Jackpot. Oh, let's get into it, man. I'm so hungry. <laughs> wow. I mean, just, oh, wait, my mouth is watering, watering, I tell you. Get cut off, man. <laughs> Get right into it. The sleeves rolled up. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, spring. And look at the darkness on that bit there with the, the bread. Where all the stuff has just soaked into it. <laughs> Not eating for over 20 hours. And this is how I'm breaking the fast. Oh my word. <coughs> no! Mmm. Mmm. You know that's good. <laughs> mm. The meat is so tender. The salsa verde has got like a, a sharp kick from the red wine vinegar and the, the gherkins, the capers, the anchovies. It gives that sharpness. Oh my word. And then the butter that I've put in there with the garlic makes it all crumb. <laughs> I oh, mean, I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. What a success. And there you go. <laughs> mm. I didn't know I was going to do this until I woke up this morning. It's the weekend, I woke up and I thought, do you know what? Wild garlic. I'd been out with Fern a few days ago and we'd seen a patch in my local woodland when she was up north. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get involved. Every year it's nice to do some up with this, when the spring greens are coming through because that's when your body needs it. That's why it's coming out of the ground. It's eating seasonal, isn't it? And I know I'm not just sat here munching on leaves. There's a, I mean, they're a minimal... They're a, they're a small part of this, but you can taste the garlic from the wild garlic because it's so pungent. And it's just the, it's just the going out and collecting it and spending some time at home making some, bringing it out to the woods, full circle, then just eating it and filming yourself doing it. It's perfect. I like my fillet pretty rare. Ribeyes and sirloins and things I can do medium because of the fat. I want to render the fat down, but a fillet, a good fillet, rare, please, nice and pink. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and wolf this down. Wolf this down and stare out into the woods. And stop waffling, because uh, when you're waffling, that's when nature's like, nah. I'll just quietly eat my sandwich. I might see some stuff, so I'll turn you off. I've nearly finished. <laughs> Woo! Put some effort into this, like. Put some effort into it. I'm hosting a raffle this month, and you can win um, and eat my e-bike and a full camping kit, uh, a hoodie of your choice off my website and some beers and stuff and I'll deliver them to you like I delivered the last two to the last two winners and thankfully they didn't kill me, Q clip. Bobby, this is Bobby, the winner of the Hilleberg Alak 2 and we're also joined by... Dashi. Say hello. Dashi Say hello. and Bobby. Nice. <clears throat> so we've got the Hilleberg Alak 2 and just some, some choice Northern Monks there for the festive season. What a legend, thank you so much. Happy days. Right, what's his guy? The winner, we'll go over here then, I'll show you this view from uh, Guy's um, back garden. The white horse, 
we forget about that. Um, it's, it's the winner of the, I forgot what it's called, Ultra TR2, and he's just kindly gifted me this book, so it's all love. Uh, pay it forward. Pay it forward. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Cheers. Thanks. The winner of the e-bike and full camping kit will be drawn, when is this coming out? On Sunday. This Sunday, the 12th. So uh, I'll leave a link below if you if you want to get involved with that. A portion of the funds go to Mental Health UK and whatever else I make, it goes back into the channel. So I do thank you and uh, it means a lot. Whew. Right, if you were here, mate, I'd gear it, but you're not, so last bite. Unreal. Shall I put recipe below? <laughs> no. No. You Google it. Google salsa verde recipes and then just make up your own. You can add a bit of lemon rind to it, put some chili flakes through it for a bit of heat and a nice bit of colour like the flecks of red. You can add English mustard instead of Dijon to pep it up a little bit. Do what you want, go wild and uh, just bang in your, your wild garlic. Not too much because it is a fierce heat from wild garlic so I judge that perfectly. But I've made pestos and stuff in the past where it's just been like... <laughs> too much but yeah just chuck in whatever you find mate or you don't even need to put any wild uh, any forage gubbins in it just just make yourself a salsa verde and have it with some lamb have it with uh, a bit of fish some chicken <laughs> some uh have it with a pot noodle else for betty spaghetti have it with a curly whirly have it with a bag of mcat do what you want with it open your you know oh or just do exactly what i did because i can tell you this it works. It's absolutely delicious. Ow. I could eat another one. I've eaten all that and I could eat another. Woohoohoo! Could I? No. Let's get packed away. Oh, that's good. I've been sat there so long it's gone, but it's completely cold. You've got to love the bush box, man. That's it, look. A little bit of ash. That's gone. We'll cover up the bit that I scraped off. Not even damaged any at bluebells. A bit of sphagnum moss, great for cleaning all the gear up. If you're out in wild, you can use it and then run that under a bit of water and you're good to go. But it just provisionally cleans it if you're going home and you want to clean your stuff when you get in. The more you can do while you're out, the better it is. Uh, it's just good practice, isn't it? Well, as best I can, I don't want to just wing everything in the bag with no rhyme or reason, all dirty and, and whatever and have to deal with it when I get home because you get used to doing it. Thinking, all right, it's all right. I've done what I needed to do. Launch it on it, bag. Deal with it when I get home. That ain't the way to go. You deal with it as much as you can out in the field, and then it's just good habits, isn't it? Then, if you're ever out on a multi-day hike, you're not, you know, you're squaring stuff away and you're tidying up. It makes life easier. I don't know what I'm saying. Do as I do, not as I do. Tote bag. Got more. It's amazing what you can fit in it. It's like the Tardis. It's like the actual TARDIS, this bag. Right, you've got to be careful at jar, because jar bless, don't want it clarting off cast iron and <laughs> bursting in TARDIS. That would shatter my dreams of a beautiful day I'm having. And I am having a beautiful day. I'm glad you could share it with me. Oh, I'm glad I shared it with you. I want gonna. Oh no, I'm nearly, nearly, nearly lost my bag. My little thing. I want gonna this morning. I was just gonna go get some wild garlic and make a salsa verde at home and I'm just have it for my tea, just like whatever. But I thought, do you know what? Do you know who'd like to see me make a salsa verde and then have a steak salad? It would, you. You might like to, so you're welcome. <laughs> or not. Let's zip her up. Get Fjell Raven bag on. Tardisio. Are we done? Pretty much. Let's see how can you? There you are. I'll show you. Just in case you don't believe me. There you go. Leave no trace. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you do make any wild garlic salsa verde and have it with whatever dish you choose. Um, tag us on Instagram, I'd love to have a look at what you're doing. Um, you can follow me there if you want. I'm so glad spring is in the air with the dafts coming out and the wild garlic and oh, it feels good man. It feels like it's just waking up from its slumber and it's giving me joy.
in your and your and possibly in your. The next video will be on Sunday where we continue the tour of the Lake District. What's happening? I don't know. Don't know what's going on on the tour of the Lake District. I know <laughs> there's some bad weather afoot. Apart from that, man, just take care of yourselves, look after each other, but mainly yourself, and I'll see you soon. Au revoir. Spring. There's a spring in his step. Full of the joys of spring. Oh, full of shit. Right, love you. Bye. <laughs>